Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the weekly spread. Ooh. Um, and this will be for the week of the 24th through the 30th. Uh, the deck that just came out was my first deck ever that I've ever bought. And it is the Hanson Roberts Tarot. And the reason I just show the decks because I have no idea where the box went. I have no idea where the actual book booklet went because I'm pretty sure it came with one. Um, because when I first looked up tarot decks, I was looking up like tarot for beginners and like something like I can't even remember. But I got this deck, and if you all enjoyed that deck, I'm pretty sure I put where you can buy it on the link. I think you can buy it on Amazon. Uh. I know I didn't buy mine on Amazon. I bought it somewhere else. I just can't recall where. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's do the weekly spread for the 24th through the 30th of May 2021. I'm going to, and this deck is a little more flimsier. Like these, I, I thought these were like regular, normal, like sized tarot deck cards. Little did I know they're like a smaller version of tarot. So shuffling them can kind of be easy. So doing that whole this thing Can be a little harder sometimes So this is the one time where I actually use the table So I'll be like, you know focus your energy on what you want to like what you want out of the reading. So that's what I do Let's do this. Beginning of the week. <laughs> I shuffled this like five times. So the beginning of the week is going to be loaded with new journeys and hopefully an ease of mind because I hope I'm not being naive at the beginning of the week. But I see new journeys and you know, the funny thing is, is I just got, uh, well I just talked to people who wanted to, me to do some part-time work as a counselor, so that might be a new journey, they might be reaching out to me, they said they would. Um, they wanted me to be a part of their company and they'd help me out with my LAC, which is LAC, Licensed Addiction Counselor, uh, uh, hours so I can get my license for that. So I could see that happening. And then let's see what happens in the middle of the wing. Ooh. Six of Pentacles. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be a positive week because if I'm giving back, like, this doesn't mean I'm probably be giving, like, people money or charity or anything. I mean, I could. I could be donating something. Uh, or I could be giving people helpful advice at work because I do. I am a go-to person to give advice to people at work. I, a lot of people come to me and they're like, what do you do this? What do you do this? How do you do this? Or what's going on with this? Or how do I explain this? So that kind of happens a lot. So I might be giving some advice this week as well. Um, end of the week. Oh. I might hit a rut. So maybe I shouldn't give too much of myself that week because I could end up emotionally drained. Um, Five of Pentacles is... The poverty card, the loss card to me. Fives are just fives are definitely always the challenge card. So having myself be challenged in that way. Um, so the full six of pentacles, five of pentacles. I'm gonna say that this week is gonna be a new journey. A lot's gonna be going on. Uh, something big is gonna start because there's a lot of uh, cards that resemblance the Fool, like that tell you a new journey is on the horizon. But this is, to me, a big, a new big journey that's going to be popping out of somewhere. Um, Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> I've been getting Pentacles a lot lately, but I love that because also I'm Earth. So hashtag to all those triple Capricorns out there. Um, I'm a lot of Capricorn. I'll always say that. I love that because, you know, I've got it got this huge Capricorn on my thighs, so I love being Capricorn because I embody it. I always have. Every time I look up what a Capricorn is, I'm like, yeah, that, that, that's me. 
Um, six of pentacles and the five of pentacles means I should probably balance myself when it comes to giving. Because if I give too much, I can end up feeling a little bit drained out, like I have no more to give. Like I am literally emotionally drained and I am in a homeless emotional state. Uh, so for me, this is a very positive spread because it tells me what to look out for, what I should be aware of, and what I should be weary of. Uh, I see a lot of like a possibility of regression if I do give too much of myself because usually when you go backwards in numbers, it means you're going back. It means it's a regression, not a progression. So I should watch out for that. Again, uh, know when to give, know when to give more to people when no, not to, when I, when I'm not feeling it and I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it because my emotion, my counselor brain turns on. I'm like, nope, it's, it's Chandler's time. It's, it's me time. It's me time. You got, you got to go. I'll, I'll get back to you when I have, when my mental homeostasis is back in line. So I think this is a very informative spread. I like it and I'm going to roll with it. Uh, tell me what you all think, uh, anything that you see out of this spread. Um, and until next time, I will talk to you all later. Peace.